Welcome back, Collective. I'm back with another message for you, so let's go ahead and get started. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for revealing every mystery and every hidden thing in our lives, for uncovering secrets that should not be hidden from us, and for leading us and guiding us according to your truth along our path. I pray that you would bless every person under the sound of my voice, including myself, Father, and that you would allow us to move deeper into our purpose and into the promises that you have for us, protected by the blood of Jesus. I bind and rebuke all demonic energy, word curses, or any interference with this message and the blessings in this message. And I return all angry, hateful energy, evil energy back to the sender in Jesus' name. Move through your Holy Spirit, Father. Amen. Okay, hi. <laughs> hi, collective. So, okay, so, um, with this message here, you have someone that, you know, like this person feels like you started a new job or. Hang on. Okay, my apologies. <laughs> I am so apologetic, okay? It's my puppy and she just needs a lot of attention. Um, and she's drinking water now. So that might be a little loud. I have my volume up. So I feel like you guys are able to hear every little thing. So please forgive me for the distractions or whatever. And maybe that's a thing. Maybe somebody wants you to forgive them for being distracted or for having to break their time away from you for other things. I don't know. Just take it however. So this person feels like you've either started this new job or this new business or like there's something that you've been working very hard on and they feel as though like you stepped out and you took this risk, you took this leap of faith and you were really following your heart. This person feels like, you know, like you made a love offer to yourself kind of, you know, like you have the faith in yourself, you have the love in yourself to really work hard and accomplish the things that you set out to do. This is someone that feels like you made this offer to yourself to do this or to go towards this commitment or to master something, to be the expert at something. Like there's something that you have set out to do. This could have been like originally them wanting to say that this was going to be repetitive for you, or this could be very boring or like you would lose focus or enthusiasm or something like that. And that is so far from the case. So this person just really looks at you and they're liking, you know, what they're seeing in this. They feel like you followed your heart and you figured out a way to really kind of like sweep yourself off of your feet. Um, this person sees you as being very responsible. They see that you're ambitious. They see that you're hardworking. And at the same time, this person sees that you finish what you started. So like, you know, when you stepped out on this, this was something that they just kind of stood back and watched. But now they're looking at you taking this leap of faith was not necessarily because you lack commitment or because you just have to have some type of new beginning or some type of adventure. This person is understanding that this was there was zero recklessness in this for you this um this person knows that you're very patient and you're very responsible and you're going to earn a profit from this and it's because of your patience you know like you don't lack the patience or the routine to complete these things um, especially when you start something you are a very loyal person. You have a lot of common sense, you know, and this person is really looking at this. Aries energy. You could be dealing with an Aries. You don't have to. But that is like where my center focus is going here. It's this energy right here. This person could really understand this energy in you. They could really understand you taking this leap of faith. Like this is why this is kind of impressive to them. 
because this is someone that feels like you're you're stubborn to a certain extent um and it works in your favor it really works in your favor this like creates so much patience <laughs> within you you know where you stay very loyal and and very focused on the things that you're doing Yeah. Well, this person feels like, you know, when you decided to take this leap of faith, finish what you started, you followed your heart with this, you've actually, you know, you've put forth the type of um, the energy and the focus to keep this fun for you. When you walked away. Okay, so basically what this person feels like is the only thing that you walked away from whatever this new opportunity was, this person looks at this like you didn't walk away from the things that you have been committed to for so long. This was a part of it. This what looked foolishness or or looked like foolishness or looked like you being adventurous or kind of naive or whatever or spontaneous. This was actually a part of this long-term vision that you have for yourself. And this person is seeing this now. They are seeing this very clearly that you have walked away from, you know, insecurities. You've walked away from a lack of confidence. You've walked away from, you know, disharmony. You actually walked away from financial issues or not being able to provide for yourself or stand up for yourself. Like you didn't walk away from stability or, or common sense. You didn't walk away from, uh, what is it? Like, <laughs> you know, your mind or your intelligence or your desire to really see something through, you have incorporated this new venture and you've incorporated this new beginning into what it is that you already have. So it's like, this person feels like you were very much disappointed with whatever lack of growth you were experiencing. If that was your, your case, you were very much disappointed with being neglected or not really fully being seen for who you are. You walked away from the fear of walking away. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Like this person feels like, you know, you're doing things according to how they should be done for you. There could have been um, a relationship or there could have been something in your life that you felt like you needed to walk away from. This could be an actual individual. And this is, you know, not the case for everybody. I have the Empress in reverse. You could have walked away from, you know, someone that made you feel like you had a lack of confidence. Oh, hmm. well, I'm seeing this a couple of ways. So the first way I've already told you, they feel like you walked away from a lack of confidence, lacking growth or whatever. Um, another way that I'm seeing this is you started a new endeavor And you could have made an offer to someone to do this with you and to, you know, work on this with you. Like you could have really just been very warm and gentle and affectionate and, you know, regards to how you handle this. I don't know. In this second scenario, what I'm seeing is like somebody wanted to just show just how loyal and patient and how, you know, they're going to finish what they started. So it's like someone could have saw you working on something or you wanting to work and collaborate. But instead, instead of working with you, they wanted to make an offer somewhere else. They wanted to, you know, be hold on to what it is that they already started and really just kind of step out on this adventure abandoning you or whatever you had and walking towards this queen or not this um this empress in the reverse 
and just walking directly into, you know, like this space where this person feels insecure. They have this lack of confidence now. They're not growing. They're in disharmony. They're in neglect. And this person feels like this is justice and karma kind of hitting their life. These are the consequences for walking away from you so carelessly, being defensive towards you, taking whatever romantic offer, you know, walking away from working with you. Like if they had started something with you or if there was something that was planned, it's like walking away from that and then going directly towards something that put them in a bad, you know, feeling bad or in a bad space. And they feel like, you know, these are life lessons. This is the cause and effect of what they did. That you have some type of new beginning. You're finding this new passion. Yeah. You know, like you, this person walked away from you and went towards somebody that's very overbearing. And it's like, this person feels like the justice in this is that you are having this new opportunity and you're going to have so much being offered to you. Like you're accepting this challenge, whatever, you know, like when they did this, you accepted this as the challenge and you had to make a major decision. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You had to make a very difficult decision. You could have had to choose between two people or this was the decision that was presented and that ended up pushing you away. Someone could have had an opportunity to go towards something else. This could have been a sexual connection. This could have been a soulmate or it just could have been whatever, or this was your person. But regardless, you had to walk away from this union and you walked away from having these shared values or this love and this connection to really getting into a better space so that you can overcome the hardships from this. And you had no problem healing and moving on from this. You had no problem bringing calm to your life after this storm. This person sees this as like, you know, because this was their plan for a long time. So this person could have been planning to walk away from you for a really long time. You know, like they wanted to follow their heart or they wanted to, you know, go towards what they were attracted towards or something like that. Or there's something that they started previously that they didn't want to leave. And, you know, this person wanted to really be in this space where they didn't have to commit to anything. They want a lack of commitment. And they ended up walking directly towards, uh, you know, a, a lack of growth and disharmony. But this person feels like, you know, the decisions that you have made have really opened up your mind for, um, for growth, for new ideas. This person feels like you're very intuitive. You might receive a lot of messages, um, like spiritual synchronicities and things like that. But whatever your choices are or the possibilities that are being presented, this is going to be very good news for you. Yeah, they feel like you've picked, you know, like you've chosen the right direction. You've chosen the thing that's going to um, really keep you feeling happy, young, in a in like a fresh spirit, <laughs> fresh energy, keeping you like in this dreamer energy. And this person feels like you made the best decision or this decision and you moving away really removed all of the illusions so that you could dream again. Hmm. This person wants to reconnect with you. So they want to have some type of like reunion or they want to celebrate or they want to do something where they come back together. This person feels like you're very mysterious and very secretive. Like you have this inner knowing. But yeah, they feel like, you know, you walking away from this and not dealing with whatever this connection was and opening your mind up to intuitively be guided towards your dreams, the opportunities that should be taken. This person feels like you're going to be celebrating 
a lot because you have been spiritually guided to take this level up, to really move in this new opportunity for you and your consistency, your efforts, like this is a solid foundation that you're beginning or that you're building and a new opportunity. This person feels like, you know, you're not going to say anything, but you're probably celebrating or having such a good time. Like things are just going really well for you. You're just very happy that, you know, you're receiving all of this good news and you have like all of these plans for this, you know, new beginning or this business or how to increase this um, project or whatever. And it, this just leaves this person feeling so trapped and cornered. Because it's like this person wants a new opportunity with you. They could have walked away from you because they thought that you had this tendency to be, you know, smothering or overbearing or like you had this lack of confidence or, you know, like you're just really insecure or something like that. They misjudged you. You could be dealing with a Taurus. And this is what really brought this justice in. You could be dealing with a Libra. This justice is here offering you this new beginning to really start whatever project you wanted in addition to what you've already been working on. This is relighting the creativity on the inside of you. Yeah, somebody could have just not thought very well of you. So they had no concern about wanting this freedom or wanting to walk away and, you know, stick to whatever they had started or whatever plan they had in following their heart and giving some type of love offer or creative, you know, love somewhere else. And this person did not mind leaving you in disharmony. They didn't mind leaving you in neglect. They didn't care if this made you feel insecure. They didn't care if it made you feel like you weren't good enough, like this person didn't care. So whether this was your energy or they were projecting this on you, at the end of the day, it looks as though they were projecting this energy on you, like they wanted this to be your energy. So they took actions to solidify this in you. Although it's like the empress upright, so the empress is the empress, regardless. Oh, empress in the reverse is someone that is still an empress, but showing characteristics of something else. So that's just basically what I'm getting from this. This person had one idea about you and they had no issue taking this leap of faith and walking away. And they ended up walking directly into what they were trying to avoid. Ooh, there it is right there. That's it. That's it. They walked away from you. They took a leap of faith to walk away from you. And they walked directly into what it is that they were trying to avoid. And you know why? Because they had already had, they already planned this. They were already planning this. While you're busy working, they were going to take their love offer and go somewhere else. This was their plan. They did not care. You see what I mean? This is why God is blessing you with the new opportunity within this situation. Yeah, when you moved on and left this behind, this person's like, man, this was the best move for you because this cleared up all of that headspace. You are able to ver see things very clearly. You have entered into a space of rest and calm after this storm. And now the decisions that you are making are spiritually led and they're intuitive decisions. These are not based on trauma. This is not based on bad news. This is not based on, you know, you feeling like your dreams are shattered and nothing is coming together. Like, no, this is you really making these decisions and being spiritually led in a way where you're going to be celebrating very soon. This person feels like you're keeping this information to yourself because you're this high priest or this high priestess and you have all of this knowledge and all this wisdom. It's like you wait for things to be organically revealed. You allow things to be revealed in their due time and in their, in their proper season. So if somebody was looking at you from the wrong energy, they're realizing now that was a setup by the enemy. 
this person walked right into some type of trap with that. And, you know, this person knows that your consistency, the fact that you handle the things that you've been given to you. So it's like, if God blesses you with one, you're going to multiply it and make it two. It'll be three. God gives you three. You're going to have six. It's, it's so it's just like this person knows that you have very excellent prospects because of the level of consistency, the level of stability and this new opportunity that's being given. Now they feel very, very much trapped and they don't want to fight with you anymore you could be dealing with a leo this person is ready to compromise now they want to reach an agreement this is like they're tired of being in this struggle they're tired of being in conflict they're tired of like having arguments or feeling as though there's going to be some type of defensiveness or um you know someone being territorial or whatever they don't want to do that anymore. And literally, this is paralyzing this person. Like they feel very hopeless. They feel helpless. They feel shame by how they did this. Hmm. Yeah. So they want to reach an agreement with you. You could be dealing with a Leo, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio. Aries for sure and Taurus Libra did I say Libra yeah all right well I'm gonna leave it there <laughs> these ones are a little bit shorter today all right like share and subscribe love you bye